Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to find the standard deviation for continuous frequency distribution. So here is the class interval column and this is the frequency column. Now this is the formula for standard deviation. But before we can use this, we need to find certain values. So for that, let's create a new column known as the xi column. Now what is this xi? Now it is nothing but the middle term of each class interval. So how do you find that is? Just need to add the upper limit and lower limit and divide by 2. So 0 plus 10 divided by 2 which is nothing but 5 and that is the xi value for the first class interval friends. It's very easy. Now that way here you will see 10 plus 20 30, 30 divided by 2 which is yes 15. So this way you can get all the xi values but there is an easier way. What you need to do is just find the class size. So let's take this class interval. What is it? 40 to 50. So just subtract the upper limit and the lower limit. So we'll get 10 that is the class size. Now you just need to add this class size to the first xi value. So 5 plus 10 which is 15. So that way also you will easily get the xi value. So what do we do now? You just need to add 10 to this 15. You will get 25, 35, 45 and 55 friends. So that's how you get the xi value. So we have got the xi values which we will need in the formula. Now there is also x bar which is nothing but mean of the entire data the formula is sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi now what is sigma yes it's a greek symbol which means summation so let's multiply fi and xi let's create the next column six fives are 30 8 into 15 120 now while you're writing the numbers make sure to write the digits one below the other so that it will be easy when you're adding it now i've already done the calculations before so i'll just copy the answers you'll get 350 this will be 560, 180 and 110. So these are all the fi xi values but we need to find their summation. So just need to add all of this. You will get the answer as 1350. Again what is in the denominator? Sigma fi. So let's quickly find the total frequencies. Yes it comes to 50. So now we can easily find the mean of this data x bar as sigma fi xi which is 1350 divided by sigma fi which is 50. So 0 0 gets cancelled. Yes this will go in 5 stable yes so the mean is going to be 27 now this mean has to be subtracted from each xi value friends so what we will do is we will create a new column for the mean just need to copy the mean that we calculated for each class interval okay like this and now the next column that we need to make is xi minus x bar so just by looking at the formula you will come to know what will be the next column that you need to form so xi minus x bar let's keep the fingers on the columns that we want because otherwise since there are so many columns you can easily get confused and may choose the wrong column so just use your fingers to help you out so you need to do 5 minus 27 friends so what is it yes minus 22 remember there's a minus sign same way 15 minus 27 minus 12 here it will be minus 2 35 minus 27 8 this will be 18 and yes this will be 28 now what do we need to do next that's right, we need to square this, see, xi minus x bar, the whole square. So that will be our next column. Just need to keep looking at the formula for the next column. So just need to square this. So when you square, automatically the minus sign goes off. So 22, the whole square is 484. So this way you can fill up all these rows over here, 64. 324 and 784 friends so this column is also completed again if we look at the formula we need to multiply this term with the fi value so that will be the next column over here so which are the columns to be chosen this frequency column and this column over here so 6 into 484 i've already done the calculation friends so i'm just copying it as it is please use ample rough space to do the calculation so that you get the answers correct so this will be 1024 this will be 1296 and here 2 into 784 will be 1568 
Now what do we need to do? Again look at the formula. We need to do the sigma that is the summation. So add up all these values very carefully. You will get 8000 as the answer. Now what do we need to do? We have already got this sigma value. Now what is this n? Yes, n is nothing but the total number of frequencies but we have already calculated that over here. See, 50. So it's time to do substitution. So sigma that is standard deviation is square root of 1 upon n that is 1 upon 50 into this whole thing is 8000. So I hope you're clear till here. Now just calculation part is remaining. So I'll get 800 by 5 which is yes it will go in the 5 table. Yes I will get root of 180. Now this is the standard deviation. Now if they are asking for the variance remember friends variance is sigma square. So sigma square or the variance is 180 and that's how you will get the variance. However here they have asked the standard deviation. So let's go ahead and find the square root of 180. You can use the long division method. So sigma is going to be 13.416. This is how you find the standard deviation for continuous frequency distribution. So friends, I hope that you found this video useful. If so, please do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.